What you got there, my good fella? <gasps> Looks like an advertisement. A bit of an endorsement. A publication of posted propaganda. Yeah, yeah. A bit of literature from one, uh, Mischief Inc., is it? Yeah. Mischief Inc. You know, that business isn't all it's cracked up to be. What with all that fine print they got snaking about in the terms of service. Yeah, ain't done nobody no good no how, fine print. You don't want to work for that dumb old app. Indeed. Dumb it is. Outright stupid. Simple, really. Wouldn't be caught dead at that there office. Maybe we could offer you some better terms. If you'd come work for us after all. Yeah, we'll do you much better. Don't mind if we get a bit up close and personal, do you? Yeah, we're stoats. Got a lot of slink to slide around and such. Have length. We'll travel. <laughs> oh, but where are our manners? Sorry. Sorry. My name is Romulus, and this is my brother, Remus. Remus here. Nice to meet you. You can call us Rom. And Rem. For, for short. short. Anyway, you can put down that silly old advert. You don't want to work for Mischief Incorporated. What you, my friend, want is to join our new startup. It's called Caravan. It's clever. Yeah, it's clever, you see. Because a pack of stoats is called a caravan. <laughs> and it's just one word, which is all the rage these days. Nothing like Mischief Inc. with its silly two words. Blech. Appalling. Packy, even. Anyway, we heard that you was a pretty good programmer. And we need those if we're going to start up a startup. Indeed. So why don't you join, join up? I'm sure you'll love it. We have the best benefits. For us, that is, we'll benefit from your work, and thus the company will thrive. And you want it to thrive, don't you? Yeah. You want to make your new best friends and or bosses happy, right? Yeah. Look us in the eyes and tell us you don't. In fact, look us in the eyes in general. It's good for making business contracts. Yeah, business contracts. Just let your old friends Rom and Rem wind around you a bit, and then say yes to everything we say. Oh, and uh, sign this contract. While your hands are still free anyway. Quite enough, you two! Trying to poach our talent, I see. That's terrible. Quite! What? Your other few ventures falling through weren't enough? This one doesn't even make sense. A pack of weasels is called a gang, in any case. Hey! Stoats! Not weasels! Same species, different names. Uh, would you prefer to be called ermines? Then a pack of you would be called a confusion. That'd be a lot more apt. <laughs> Ooh, good one, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Cass. Uh, shut it, you two. We got to him first. Their eyes fair and square. Yeah, fair and square. But hypnosis is hardly fair. Indeed. And neither is that weird, stretchy, crappy sort of thing you do. Ooh, it's creepy. Oh, yeah. And what? Turning people into vermin is perfectly fair play? Hey! Mice are not vermin. And we make them sign contracts first. You do your weird swirl thing before any legal documents have been signed. That's different, quite. And you don't even do anything scientific. You just enthrall other people to do the work for you. Well, whatever gets it done. Business is business. <sighs> I'm sorry, potential employee. As a side note, Mr. Fink cannot be held liable for actions taken by its competitors. Uh, these two are old... Idiots. Acquaintances from our university days. And they've had a bit of a grudge ever since graduation, so occasionally they try to snipe talent from under us with their own, uh, special abilities. Hey, it was you who was jealous of us. Yeah, you brothers and your weird science. Uh, oh, it has been a while, I suppose. <laughs> um, actually, it's brother and, uh... Brother and sister, Paul. You can say it. Oh. Quite. Uh, when? It's been about a year now. Things are going quite well. Oh, they are. Well, that's great. Yeah, sorry for the pronoun mix-up. Didn't mean nothing by it. Yeah, kudos to you. That's real brave. Yeah, I mean, we're your arch nemesis. But we ain't jerks. Oh! 
Oh! Well, thank you. That don't mean we're friends, though. Yeah, still nemesis, s s s s s s s s s s s s s s Anyway, now that that's out of the way, uh, what you got there? It's a shrinky dink! Uh, what she means to say is it's a shrink ray. We're not calling it that. Well, I'm the one who finally got it down to handheld size, so I should get to pick. Anyway, unless you want to be the size of grapes, let our future employee go. What? We ain't done nothing unlawful. Yeah, we're just talking. Ain't no law against talking. There is a law against hypnotic coercion, and you know it. Well, only if you can prove it, and I don't see no video. The Shrinky Dink has a built-in camera. Oh. Well, how do we know you ain't lying? It also has a projector. Show them, Paul. Of course! Whoa! What the... Rem? Paul? Uh, oh, <laughs> remember when you said it might not have been a good idea to put the projector button so close to the reversal button? Paul? It was more ergonomic. Paul! Okay, okay, I can fix it, I can fix it. Whoa! <laughs> Look at me, Rom. I'm big! I'm like, Bremzilla or something, Rom. Ram, get back here! We ain't got macro insurance! We should probably see if you can fix that quickly. Uh, we do have macro insurance, and I don't want it going up... again. Quite, uh... Sorry, future employee. We'll have to reschedule your... Oh, they're still hypnotized. Leave them then! He's found his way to the abandoned building part of town! Fine, fine, fine! Here's our business card if you're still interested in working for Mischief Inc. Toodles! Paul! Sorry! Gotta go! 